Hello and welcome to my live stream. Happy Easter to anybody who celebrates Easter. Are you going to play the flute for us, Chloe? What? Are you going to play the flute for us? No. No. Um, thought my daughter might play the flute for us while we did a skincare. <laughs> she was playing the flute a minute ago. Thought she might uh, might play for us a while, but. She said she's not going to, so oh well. Too bad. But um yeah, got my kids here today. Well, they they've moved in here with me and my dad. So we've got my kids here. And um, like I said, happy Easter to everybody. We're not really doing anything. We are gonna be eating steak here at about six o'clock so but we're not having any ham or anything like that but um yeah i'm just gonna start by taking off my makeup here we're just gonna be doing some skincare stuff probably be about an hour and a half to two hours of probably not more than an hour and a half i think the last self-care sunday i did was about an hour and a half no more than no more than that We'll see how it goes. And how's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing well. My phone does this thing. I don't know if it's really showing up or not, but I'm using StreamYard. And it kind of does this kind of thing where it's trying to like focus or something, I guess. So if it does that, I do apologize. I don't have any proper makeup remover, so I'm just using makeup wipes for now. I'm going to cleanse my face. I see Carolyn Parker left a message for me. It says, hey, lovely Jennifer, a happy Easter to you and yours. I've also got my, we've got Moxie here tonight, but we also have my dog, Pickle. Hi, Nicole, how are you? You have a relaxing day yourself. I have had a relaxing day today. My dad and my brother have not. They've been moving. They've been moving stuff into the house. I've been filming videos today mostly. And just kind of taking it easy. This is my one day off that I get off that I get during the week. So I like to film. Filming is filming is fun for me. I, I do hear Chloe playing her flute in the background, so you might be able to catch her playing flute in the background. She plays for the high school band. I do work. Oh, I do work a lot. But I like my job. I do. I'm not working as much overtime as I was, though. We finally got. We finally got in enough people to work all the shifts. So I'm not having to work as much overtime as I was, which is kind of a, kind of a, um, 
<laughs> nice that I'm not having to work overtime so much, but I kind of miss having the extra money to Your overtime finally slowed down too. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I do work, I do work overtime, but I mean, my, I work about eight hours overtime a week. But that's just normal. That's my normal schedule. But, um, okay, let's cleanse the face. I've got, what is this, Kira Moon? I got this from a subscription box. I want to say this is the Silky Rinse. Gentle hydrating facial cleanser. This smells like melon. Like um what it cantaloupe. That's what that smells like. So I'm going to wet my face so like that. I love the smell of melon. Did you see the new Allure spoilers? No. I was thinking of getting it again. No, I haven't. I never got the Allure box. What what are they? What do y'all get? What is what are the spoilers? Is that a good box to get? I've canceled most of my most everything except Ipsy. I hear Allure. A lot of people like the Allure box. Oh, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Okay. That is nice. Yeah, most of yours are canceled too. Yeah. I just um I just number one have way too much makeup. And then, I mean, and number two, I just need to save more money. But I really am addicted to that Ipsy or the, the Ipsy shop for when I do need makeup and I need it cheap. <laughs> So I really want to keep my Ipsy, keep my Ipsy going. I get the glam bag and I still get the icon box because I still like, I still like getting the icon box. But I canceled my boxy charm, my Ipsy, boxy charm by Ipsy. Hey, Carla. No, you're not that late. I just started like nine minutes ago. Sorry, your power went out. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a good day today. I'm just cleansing my face right now. Yeah. Do you live out? 
do it out like in the country where it takes a while for the power to come back on. Happy Easter, happy Easter. Okay. All right, Nicole, thanks for thanks for coming on. Have a great evening. You live in town, but it's always slow to come back on now. Hey, hey, Gloria. How you doing? Did you make Easter lunch today? Okay, I got some tea here, and I really want to drink it. You grill burgers and make potato salad and baked beans. Oh, that sounds good. My dad is cooking up some steaks that we're going to have around 6 o'clock after I'm done. Mm. Just got some tea here. This take sounds much better, yeah. Okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay, I want to put on... I want to put on a clay mask. That's what I want to do. I don't, I don't really know what order to do any of this in. I got a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to put on this Moira Hydrating Rose Clay Mask. That's what it looks like. Hydrating and Renewing. It's just you here today, nothing special. Well, like... When my mom was alive, we did a lot. We used to do a lot more for Easter. Even up until last year, even up, we used to, my kids used to hunt eggs. I mean, they were 14 years old and they were still hunting eggs, mainly just for competition to see who could find the most eggs. But we're not really doing anything today. since it's like the first major holiday since my mom passed. So we're not doing anything special. I mean, he probably would have made steaks if it was just any other day. When your dad was alive, we always had a big get together and would grill and make homemade ice cream. Yeah. See, my mom was the reason that we'd always do second holiday without your daddy. Yeah, my mom was always the reason that we had big get togethers and stuff. Yeah, so is your daddy. Hi, Sia, how are you doing? 
How happy are you? Have you made have you made your Easter dinner already? I, don't, I'm, I keep talking this stuff on. I need to stop. Happy Resurrection Day. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to sit and chat. I'll let this do its magic. Got my Care Bear mug. Just finished serving my daughter and I have some food. I didn't get to make everything I wanted because I bought bigger pans, bigger than your oven size. Oh no. What did you make, see? Sierra. So I had to settle for making pigs in a blanket. That sounds good. Baked mac and cheese and cornbread. Okay. That sounds good. I think I think we're having mac and cheese too. I am missing a cake and chicken. <laughs> yeah. I've got these these are from TJ Maxx. I've got the pink one, the blue one, and the green one. And I think they've just put out a purple one and a yellow one. <laughs> and I want to collect them all. Your son's girlfriend is at work and your son is out taking photos of a historical of Chileoka Indian School. Okay. That's cool. You love TJ Maxx mugs? Yes. You have Marie from the Aristocrats. Yeah. Yeah, I have this. I have this Care Bear tumbler too. And some Care Bear socks. So, yeah. Chalaco, Chalaco, is that how you say that? Lisa merch, like um, Lisa Frank, yeah. Yeah, I used to have, it was big, it was big when I was in school too. It was like the folders, I used to have the folders in the, the Trapper Keeper, of course. <laughs> oh, a police escort to be able to go. What's he taking pictures for? It 
if I might ask. But yes, I've got a lot of mugs from TJ Maxx. It's a very old school, okay. You, you like to go to TJ Maxx too, Gloria. What kind of things do you usually like to get? Are you still here? I know you do a lot of hauls. You like their hand soap and stuff, don't you? He loves taking photos. I bet. That sounds like such a fun thing, a fun hobby to have. Okay, I'm gonna try something. Yeah, sheet mask and hand soaps mostly, yeah. My TJ Maxx is finally starting to step up. The last time I went there, they were making changes. They were moving things around and the beauty section actually looked good. They were had more aisles and they had more makeup and they were putting in more stuff. So, you know, I used to complain about their beauty section being really kind of crappy, but now they're finally starting to step up in the beauty, the beauty section. So next time I have some money to be able to go, I'm going to uh, check out the beauty section again. Last time I went, we were shopping for Chloe. Oh, they have, they decreased. I figured that they were making changes to all of them, but no, they decreased your beauty section. I know Christine said their beauty section, that they pretty much didn't have a beauty section in hers. TJ Maxx. I was hoping maybe they were making changes in all of them. You wish. Oh yeah, what did you buy from Revolution Beauty and Amazon? I get some beauty products. Oh no, you thought they were starting to close down TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They started you in New York City, and but your local one is still, oh my gosh, no. I like shopping there better than I do like it. When I need, when I need stuff, I don't wanna, and I don't wanna go to like Walmart or someplace like that. That the new foundation and some magic cream, the the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. Does Revolution have a new foundation? Oh, I have to check that out. I got my tablet over there, but it um ah. My tablet doesn't work very well. I don't think I've ever tried foundation from Revolution. You know, I was doing my shop, my stash today. 
And one of my one of my favorite foundations that I have is from Sephora, actually. And I need to get some more of this. Wait. I have our something new foundation and have found that I can only use it with certain primer for to look easy. Oh, Revolution's new foundation. Oh, yeah, you said that. You have to use a certain primer. You were shocked and sad, like, no, that's where I get all my beauty products. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so Revolution has the new, is, is everybody talking about that? Yes. So everybody's talking about this new foundation? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, somebody else. Oh, hi, David. Uh, Oh, Revolution has a magic cream. Okay. Hi, David. Every, all the everybody commented it once. Hi, David. How you doing? Did you get your hand made, David? So for those of you who don't know, I talked about this in a get ready with me. Um, Aaron and my kids are moving in with me and my dad because Aaron um, lost his job and cannot afford to live um, in the house anymore. So this weekend they are moving in to the house with me and my dad. So um, everything's going to be hectic for a little while. So, yeah, that is what's going on right now. But I do get to be with my kids again and my dog and my cat. And my cat, who I haven't seen in like a year, remembered me and came up and totally um, rubbed herself all over me when she saw me. So um, I was very, she was very happy to see me. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there as a little life update. So, but yeah, also if you didn't know, my husband and I have been separated for like a little over a year. But um, yeah, <laughs> she did. I think she did miss me. <laughs> but I have my. I have been um, seeing my dog's been coming over like every other weekend or so. So I've been able to see my dog, my dog Pickle. But I haven't seen my cat Lola in over a year until today. So anyway, this mask, I like this mask a lot better, I think, than the um, than the charcoal one. This one is less drying. Like I said, this one is hydrating. Hydrating rose clay mask. And it's from Moira, if you didn't see it. Moira makes some good skincare products for a good price. Oh. 
Yeah, it'll be a full house, but it's a pretty it's a pretty big house. Yeah. Me and my kids are my fur babies, yeah. <laughs> So everybody, Aaron, Aaron and Josh will have to share a room. And my dad has made a little, a, a little room for himself in the front room, where he put up some curtains and made himself a little, a little room. And me and Chloe have our own rooms. So everybody, everybody is going to be situated in their own place. Yes, they still look really good. Although I'm going to go get them redone on thursday i still love them but i'm gonna go get something else done on thursday yep really really have enjoyed these nails i'm gonna get something more pink more pink done on thursday and i'm gonna get a pedicure done too because it's that time of year. And I haven't, I have not been <laughs> messing with my toenails. So they should be nice and grown out. So that'll be nice to do. Okay, I'm going to try something today. I found this. I was going through stuff that I had for giveaways. And I was looking through stuff, through sample stuff that I had thrown in there. And I found this Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. Is that a patented two-step peel with seven acids? You, you would think after the, after the peel I did last week, I would stay away from peels. But this is to help smooth fine lines, minimize the look of pores, and improve the appearance of uneven tone and textures, achieve clinical results at home. This has three treatments in it. And this is just a sample packet, obviously. And it has three of them in here. And this is what one looks like. And one is the Alpha Beta Peeling Quo T. Uh, what is this? Okay, no. Okay, number one is the Exfoliate. <laughs> yeah, anything peel off makes me so nervous. Yeah. Number one, Exfoliate and Smooth. Number two, Anti Aging Neutralizer. Okay, so what does this say? To use. For optimal results, use daily AM or PM. First time peel users may apply every other day. Okay. Got to go and finish getting dinner ready. I will finish watching on the replay later tonight. Okay, Gloria, thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Love you, girl. Okay. Caution, use only as directed. Okay, I don't plan on doing this every day. Step one, onto massage step one, onto clean dry skin until pad is dry. Wait two minutes. Repeat with step two to further enhance results. Follow with a serum and moisturizer of your choice. Okay, we'll do this last. Oh, hey, Christine, how you doing? Christine, did you watch my Get Ready With Me the other day on, on Friday? I mean, it's okay if you didn't. I'm just asking. Okay, so you don't know my life update. I don't think I told you. You know, I was telling you I was going through a lot lately, and I was going to update y'all soon about what was going on. 
Well, the update is that um, Aaron lost his job and um, he, he can't afford to pay rent on the house anymore. So him and the kids are moving in with me and my dad. So um, that's happening. That was happening this weekend. So the day is um, the last day of the month. So pretty much the day is like move in day. So that is what is going on. And that's what's been kind of um, kind of been on my mind a lot lately. So that's kind of what I talked about in that get ready with me. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's what's been going on. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, a lot going on. So, I'm going to take this mask off right now. So, we can talk about it in chat later. Yeah, we can talk about it in chat later. <laughs> or tomorrow. I mean, it's pretty much the only choice. Pretty much the only choice. I'm just going to say that pretty much the only choice we have, really. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. But I'm just saying for everybody, if you see me talking to my kids, talking to Aaron see Aaron or anything like that. That's what's going on here. If you hear like my daughter playing her flute in the background, you hear me talking to my son a lot in the background, you know, like what, where's all this noise coming from? That's because there's a, we got a full house now. Hear dogs barking and cats. Screeching. All that stuff. So, yeah. That was a really nice mask. I like that one. I like that one a lot better than that charcoal mask I did last week. Okay, let's get a dry, let's get a dry towel. Okay, let's put some toner on. I've got also got some Moira Sika calming toner. I've been wanting to use this up. And um, where, okay, here are my cotton rounds right here. Where to get these? These are from Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty. 
This is the Moira toner. <laughs> you like my what is his name again? See, I just I still say baby, baby Yoda. Groku, something like that. Grogu, Groku, Grogu, okay. I have never seen the Mandalorian. I just like I just like this. I like the Grogu or the whatever. I like the Grogu character. I don't have Disney Plus. I have the shorts on the match too. Even if you don't watch Star Wars, that's cool. You have Disney Plus with Hulu. That's cool. I have, I have Hulu, but I don't, but I don't. I have Netflix and I have Hulu, and I have Amazon Prime. That's all I have. I should have gotten the. What's the deal? The um, Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN do. I never got that. Oh, really? Hmm. I think Aaron pays for the Hulu. I pay for the Netflix. Okay, um, what next? Um, okay, we're gonna do these serums next. What am I gonna use? Okay, the ordinary stuff. Okay, gonna use amino amino acids. I'm almost out of this. I think I have a back. Uh, he shares this didn't need plus with you. That's cool. Yeah, me and Aaron are separated, but we still share our Netflix and Hulu accounts. You pay ten dollars for Hulu with the Disney Plus. Do you get the Hulu without? Is that the Hulu without the ads? Cause we get the Hulu without the ads. Right. Hulu with that because otherwise Hulu's wait Hulu used to be free without with ad with with ads right that's what it used to be at least with ads oh Hulu used to be free with ads. Okay, now we're putting on the ascorbic acid and alpha arbutin. This is all just stuff to help with the age, fighting the age, <laughs> fighting the wrinkles and the anti aging stuff. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm going to be doing that peel later. We'll get this to sink in with the sheet mask. Yes, it used to be free, but then Netflix got more popular. So then Hulu started charging $7 for Hulu. Well, that's just stinks. They got Tubi. I, I watch Tubi sometimes. That's free. I got that on my smart TV. 
my Roku, I watch Roku at night. Well, that's where I watch, um, that's where I watch YouTube and Netflix and sometimes Hulu, but I don't really watch Hulu that much anymore. And um, I'll watch Tubi on there. Okay, next from The Ordinary, I've got 100% plant-derived squally. But Tubi, Tubi does have ads, too. I've seen some good movies. I've seen some good movies on Tubi. Um, <laughs> um, some of them, yes. Some of them, yes, they are. They are that bad. But some of them are, are some of them are good. Some of them aren't that bad. I mean, I will, I will counter that with saying some Netflix movies are awful. Some of the Netflix, made for Netflix movies are some of the worst movies I've ever seen. And those you pay for. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to put on a sheet mask. Now, you have to check it out and need something new to watch. Yeah, Marky and you binge Boy Meets World. Now you're binging Girl Meets World. Okay. I, I kind of remember that show. I think I watched it son. Okay, I got the another dermal mask like I used last week, but this is Acerola, which I think is um, cherries. Acerola collagen essence mask. It's got pictures of cherries on it. You watch Paramount Plus? That's cool. I think my parents used to have Paramount Plus. So, oh, it does smell like cherries. So it's nice. Isn't that where all the, is it Paramount? Where all the Star Trek shows are. You watch football on there, okay. Oh, this mask smells so good. You think that that's you think that's that's where they have all the Star Trek shows? There's something at my work in the break room. They show Pluto TV. It's commercials. I don't I, I don't know if it's free or not, but they show. Yep. The on Pluto TV they have like all. A lot of different shows that you can binge TV shows. And usually it's set to some Star Trek show. 
because I work around a lot of uh, techie nerds and um, yeah, it really does. And um, believe it or not, I used to do this every day. And my skin was so nice when I used to do it every day. But now I only do it on Saturdays, Saturday mornings and Sunday nights. So on my breaks, I'm either watching some Star Trek show or Jeopardy because they have Star Trek channel and they have the Jeopardy channel. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I usually buy my sheet masks in bulk from Amazon. So you can buy a lot of um, these dermal masks. I can get them cheaper, but I really like these dermal masks. I buy like 48 at a time. I forget the price, but it was really, it's like less than a dollar each. I bought a, a big box of like 100 sheet masks for like, $50 once, but then the price went up a lot when inflation started getting bad. And um, I stopped buying those. And I like these dermal ones a lot better. Yes, 100 sheet masks, because I was doing one every day. And there were like 10 different kinds. Oh, it comes with show, Paramount comes with Showtime. You pay, you only pay $12 a month? Wow, that's good. Yeah, that 100 pack came with 10 different kinds of sheet mask and would have 10 of each kind. Wait, 10 different kinds and then 10, like it would have a honey mask and then it would have 10 honey masks. So it would it'd be like that. It was for like, um, you know, people who would buy stuff and then like resell them in like a, a store or something like that. I think that's what they were for. That's cool. At least it was 10 different types instead of just like 100 rows. Yeah, no, 100 rows in it. I would get, I would get tired of that. Mm -mm -mm. At least with these dermal ones, I'll buy like 48 and there'll be like 48 different masks. It's been real fun seeing what different ones they are. I don't, they're not like, they smell, they each smell different. I don't think any of them do like anything, like each one does a different thing. I don't think anything like that, but um, they each like smell different. But they all, they all do the same thing.
So what's the weather like where y'all are? It's like already getting hot here. It's like in the 80s. And I'm not ready for the 80s yet, but I guess in spring here in Texas, it's that's how it's going to be in the 80s. So I guess I need to suck it up. But, um, Lola, you come say hi, Lola. Just, just finished eating. Are you proud of your dinner? Yeah. <laughs> you should be proud of it. It's hot. In the 60s, well, I bet in the city, in the 60s, it does definitely feels hot. And, and. I keep wanting to tap my nails on things, but I hate, I hate when people do that. But I'm like, my nails were, when I first started getting my nails done, they were really, really short. And now they, they're not long, but they're at the point where I can tap them on things now. And I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that person <laughs> that taps their nails on everything. But um, yeah, you know, I get up, I get up at four o'clock every morning during the week because I got, I want to have time to put on my makeup and eat breakfast and have coffee. Your daughter does the same thing. She loves, she loves that sound. So hopefully. Hopefully I won't be waking everybody up. My dad gets up around five. So we both wake up. And um, it, he wakes up about five, five thirty. We both wake up and we have we, we sit down and talk and have coffee right before I get up and go to work. I be, have to be at work at seven by seven. And um, I think most everybody, my kids are both pretty sound sleepers. So I don't think I'll be waking anybody up. One of her Easter Pusheen drink, one of her gifts from you was a Pusheen. I love Pusheen drink. And the first thing she did was tap her nails on the can. <laughs> That's funny. So first year, we really haven't done anything for Easter in a long, long time. So I still like decorating for Easter or for spring. I got It's kind of dark, but I got my little rabbit back there. Um, I want to leave my Easter. I want to leave my Easter decorations up, though. Just come spring decorations. What do you think? I don't want to take them down. I love my bunnies and carrots. What do you think, Chloe? Can I keep my can I keep my Easter decorations up? I don't know. Okay. 
Until summer? Okay. She said I could get them up. When you work for your last job, you had to wake up all crazy hours after midnight to get there before five, six. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of a morning person though. I really like <laughs> until summer. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> um, even before I got my job, I was still getting up at like four, five o'clock in the morning. I just like getting up before the sun comes up. I don't know. I just, I just like that. I haven't always been like that, but just in the last few years, last, I don't know, five, six years, I've been like that. You wish you were a morning person. Eh. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a being an afternoon person or a late night person. Now, when I was in now when I was in college, I used to I used to go to sleep at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> used to they used to stay up until five in the morning, sleep until one o'clock in the afternoon. Then get up and go to my classes at two o'clock in the afternoon. You're never a morning person. It was so hard waking up for school all the time. You know, yeah. See, my son is an is a night a night owl, and um, he would always fall asleep in class, and he would always get in trouble. It's like um. One of the reasons why we homeschool him too is because we can homeschool him any any time of day that we want to. Not that he doesn't need to learn how to um, how to wake up on time, but I mean, it was just so it, I don't know. But. Um, I would go to my classes from two until about six or seven in the evening, go and I would stay at the library for a while. Then I would go home and um, do stuff. And then again, stay up until five o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I mean, we, we just could not get my son to sleep, to go to sleep at night. But, um, yeah, I mean, people, people, all pe people are all different. I mean, like at my job, there's people that work like me that work the morning shift. There's people that work the swing shift from three to 11. And then there's the night owls that work from 11 until seven, 11 until seven. Yeah. Because what I do, um, my security job, what we um, patrol, has to be a 24-7 thing. What? 
what were my hobbies growing up? Well, I've always been a big reader. I used to love to write. I used to love, love writing. And reading and writing. And um, I used to play the piano. In fact, one of the things we moved over here from the house was my old piano. And sometimes when I'm filming, you might hear one of the kids playing on it. So, but I don't play the piano anymore. But I used to be, I used to be pretty good playing the piano. And um, I don't know, I used to play some sports. I used to play softball. I used to play tennis. But, um, you know, I thought I was going to be, I thought I was going to be a writer when I grew up. I love writing. I still write. I write in my journal all the time. And I still, like I said, I still love to read a lot. You're trying to teach yourself how to play Marky's piano. Yeah. Yeah, I started taking lessons when I was like in third grade and I went all the way through high school. <laughs> but you know, you gotta keep up with it. And now no, I've lost, I've lost pretty much. I mean, I could pick it up again if I wanted to, but um, yeah, my daughter, she plays the flute now and she wants to uh, learn. She wants to learn how to play the piano now. I think my son's interested too. What kind of makeup wipes do I use? I use the refreshments ones from Ipsy. The cleansing face wipes. I um I get three of them a month from their refreshments. Prescri sub I keep on said prescription. Subscription. So yeah, Erin used to play the piano too. He was a lot better. He's a lot better than me. I think he can still play the piano. I do like them. I like them a lot. I think they're better. I think they're better than the um the Neutrogena ones. Is that the ones that are so popular? I think they're better than those. I definitely think they're better than the ColourPop ones. I do not like the ColourPop ones at all. Um, I don't, I don't, I've never, I haven't tried a whole lot of different ones. But, um, you could probably find cheaper ones, but then you have to go out and buy them. And, you know, I'm not all about going out and, going out just to buy makeup wipes <laughs> so i like having them you might have to try them out yeah i like having them just being delivered to me well like i said i mean there's there probably cheaper ones out there What were some of see if if you're on here, what were you what were some of your hobbies growing up? Crim shop ones are okay, but the HCE ones are really good. Yeah. Yeah, I've really only ever tried the the Neutrogena ones and the ColourPop ones. The Neutrogena ones are just, I mean, they're like the standard ones that everyone buys. And the ColourPop ones are just really dry. You can get them like in a pack of 100 at a good price, but they're really dry. The Crim Shop ones over cheapy ones any day, that's good to know. I know you can buy Crim Shop ones at TJ Maxx.
They have a lot of crim shop things at TJ Maxx. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay, I think I'm going to take this off now. Some come with three packs instead of just one. That's That's good to know. Like I was telling earlier, I don't know if you're here, but my TJ Maxx used to be really bad. Their beauty section used to be really bad, but I think they're getting better now. And they might they might have stuff like um, makeup wipes and stuff now. Before, they wouldn't have stuff like that. Looking hydrated. Oh yeah. We're gonna see if we're gonna see if after this peel that stays the same. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. I got Dr. Dennis Gross here. And we're going to see if we can undo everything I just did. Okay. Like I said, I probably should. Oh, I was asking you what, what your hobbies were when you were younger. My daughter's throwing her boxes around. She's unpacking. Okay, we've got step one, which is exfoliate and smooth. Okay, I can feel the burn. I can see why you would not want to do this every day. Writing, yeah, I knew I knew you liked writing. Writing poetry, journaling, or taking pictures of everything and everyone, yeah. I wish they'd had digital, digital cameras when I was younger. I would have been into photography much more. Or say, said to keep going with this until the pad was dry. That hasn't changed. My best friend is always a pen and paper all right we're holding the camera that's cool i've always loved journaling and my daughter is not wasting any time unpacking yeah, yeah, I knew your daughter does photography now. That is awesome. She did awesome at her, her um, that thing y'all did the other night that you went to with her, that workshop. Your twin granddaughter turned 17 this month and my oldest son will be 40. Okay. I didn't know you had twin granddaughters. Well, 
Well, happy birthday to everybody. Okay, I think this is dry now. Okay, let's let my face dry. I bet they are beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna take the anti-aging neutralizer. I bet this is expensive to buy. Your daughter fought you tooth and nail to not go. <laughs> I told her to try it out and if she if she doesn't like it, she didn't have to go back, okay? Tomorrow she starts a spring workshop because she enjoyed it. That's good. It's always good to just try it out. <laughs> okay, this does sting, but it doesn't feel as bad as that elf exfoliator did last week. Pickle, what are you doing? She jumped down. I'm afraid she's going to pee on the carpet. Pickle. Pickle. She's still not used to being here. Chloe, can you take the dog out, please? Uh... Yes, Pickle's my dachshund. Uh, Where'd she go? She might have gone into my room. Did she go? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I get nervous when the dog just jumps off the couch to go for no reason to go exploring. When she was just sitting there being chill and then just jumps off the couch for no reason. <laughs> my dad has a dog door, but my dog never learned how to use it. Okay, all right. Feeling very fresh faced now. We're going to put on some serums. We have got hyaluronic acid serum and niacinamide serum from Good Molecules. So let's try the, okay, let's try niacinamide first. Don't know how. An acid is good, but but I don't like the word acid after what I just did to my skin. But okay, that feels nice. Carla, um. See, do y'all have any animals? Okay. 
Okay. Got that, the niacinamide serum, and then we are going to use the hyaluronic acid. I'm probably going to take it easy tomorrow morning with my skin routine. I try to do a lot of serums and stuff. You have a chihuahua? What's its name? You have a cat? Mama Lily? And two guinea pigs? Oh, yeah, I remember you saying you had guinea pigs because they, when we were on live, she's 11 years old. Oh, cool. So I remember you saying you had guinea pigs because they were making noises on live one time. And I was like, what is that? Cream puff and Jossa. Tia. Tia. What a cute name for a chihuahua. Danny pigs are funny. Well, before it was just me, my dad, and Moxie. And now we've got. Pickle, my dachshund. Moxie's a dachshund too, but he's a long haired dachshund. But we got Pickle, who's like a miniature dachshund, and she's a short haired dachshund. And we've got Lola. Yeah, you love it when they weak. <laughs> we've got Lola. She's, uh, she's um, like, well, I like to call her like a creamsicle cat. She's like orange and white with and white on the bottom. And um, we've got Lola. And then we have a tortoise named Pringle that stays in Chloe's ring. Jose. Okay. Cool. So we have lots of animals now. Okay, so I'm going to put this hydrating or this holy hydration um, eye cream from e.l.f. on my eyes. I love little dogs. We had, I had Cocker Spaniels growing up. Well, we had a poodle when I was real little, a miniature poodle. Well, not like not like a toy poodle, but she was a little poodle. She wasn't like a big poodle. And then um, she wasn't a full-size poodle. And then we had a couple of Cocker Spaniels. And, um, but we had a German Shepherd uh, that always stayed out back. It had a dog, had a... Um, dog house and stayed out back and I would really like to have another German Shepherd someday but other than that I really like I really like little dogs little dogs you can pick up I don't like dogs that can sit on you and You can't get up. <laughs> I mean, they're good for protection, but they think they're babies. The big dogs think they're babies. Okay, and then my favorite moisturizer is La Roche Posay Daily is the Lipicar Daily Repair Moisturizing Lotion. And I lay this on pretty thick.
Well, I hope everybody had a great day today. Thank you for joining me in the live. This lasted about an hour and a half, about what I thought it would. I am going to go put everything away, get ready for dinner, our dinner, our version of Easter dinner, which is steak and potatoes. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me. Yes, I was glad you were able to make it too, Carla. Thank you so much. You have a great evening. See you. Have a great evening. And I will see you all again. Hopefully, I will be doing this every Sunday. So, see, I will talk to you tomorrow. I will. Okay. Yum, yes, yum. Okay. All right. And hopefully me and C and Christine will be doing a live this week, hopefully. And okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And until we meet next time, just stay well until then. Okay. Good vibes to everybody. Okay. Good day.